Hi, hello and welcome to another episode from China Teacher Brand, where I share with you what it is like to live and work in China. Today, I want to bring you another video from the YouTube China Creators WeChat group known as We Collab. We have decided to bring videos uh, independently talking about the different dialects that are spoken throughout China in the places where we live. Since I live in Dongguan, uh, we speak Cantonese, or as they say, Baihua, or Guangdonghua. Um, the interesting thing is that when I first arrived to China, I landed in Shanghai and then moved up to the north of China. I went to a place called Mudanjiang, and from there I went to Xi'an. Now, the interesting thing is that in those first six months, I had picked up a few rudimentary expressions in Chinese, and that was about it. But the moment I got to Dongguan, I could understand absolutely nothing. I realized that there's really no connection between one and the other. It's quite difficult to understand um, a Cantonese person uh, if you have never learned the language. So I would like to uh, start the video by inviting you to go check each and every one of my friends. Their links uh, are in the description down below if you want to learn more about dialects here in China. But let's start with my story. I have a really funny story related to Cantonese. It was probably 2003, 2004, and um, I wanted to buy some cologne. So I went to a shop in a place called Shilong, and uh, I went in and I asked the lady, 这个多少天? 这个多少天 in Putonghua, or in Mandarin, what we call Chinese, is actually, how much is this? Yeah, I said to her, 这个多少天? And she said, 一百吧. No, my Putonghua was enough to understand that she was saying e by ba, which is 180. So I handed her 200 renminbi. Immediately she went, no, 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 mowa, 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 which is no, 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 no in Cantonese. I didn't know at that time. And she said to me, it's actually 280. She said, liam bai ba. And then she took out a calculator and wrote 280. And I'm like, what, what the, why, why? I'm automatically thinking she's giving me the, the foreigner price, the what we call the Guelao price, right? And I'm like, no, F this, I'm out of here. And I left and I was really, really upset because I thought that she wanted to take advantage of me. <laughs> so I went and told my friend, this lady, I wanted to buy that cologne for 180 and she all of a sudden just went to 280. And then my friend started laughing and that's when he explained to me that in Cantonese, the number one sounds like the number two in Puto, uh, sorry, as the other way around, that the number two in Cantonese, see how confusing this is? The number two in Cantonese sounds very similar to the number one in, in, in Mandarin, in Chinese. So I understood yi bai ba, but she said yi bai ba, which is 280. And I was like, okay, that makes sense, but I didn't feel stupid at all because why would you answer a question in Cantonese when I'm asking you a question in, in Mandarin, in Putonghua? It's like if I ask you a question in French and you replied in German, like what? The, what? So that's, that's my story with Cantonese. So without further ado, I'm going to go into the five um, expressions that I was able to collect and to show to you how interesting and complicated and, and, and funny Cantonese language can be. So what we are going to do is I'm going to tell you what this sentence is supposed to mean in English, not the literary, not the literal translation, but the, the general idea. And then I'll tell you the Cantonese and then if there is a literal translation. So I just finished saying all that, but the first one doesn't have all those three things. The, the first one actually is only has a literal translation and they say it just because it sounds funny. They Chinese people, they say it on TikTok, on Douyin, and all this, just because it sounds so funny, so I picked it as my number one. So listen up. This basically means every country, or each country, has its own country song, or its own anthem. In Cantonese, sounds some, okay, I'm gonna write the Cantonese pinyin here, or the, the, the uh, westernized alphabet uh, form of the Cantonese here, but it goes something like this. It goes, guo guo guo, Gaya, guo guo guo, ga ji guo guo. (laughs) 
果果，果果果，嘎家，果果果，嘎一，果果。I think they heard me over there. So that's that's basically. Each country has its own anthem. Each country has its own national song. Guo 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 ga, ya guo 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 ga, ji guo guo. Alright, cool. Moving on to number two. So, as I said, I'm going to tell you、um, the meaning. Yeah, not the literal translation, but the meaning. This is a leftover woman. A leftover woman is basically、um, a woman. Well, here in China, they have this idea that if a woman doesn't marry by 25, 26, 27, then she won't get married. She's not marriage material. So they call that a leftover woman. So、uh, the way they they say it in Cantonese is, 罗代长，罗代长，罗代长。And the literal translation to of Luo Dai Chang is the orange at the bottom of the basket, kind of like the orange that get picked that gets picked last. That's a leftover woman for them here in Guangdong. Luo Dai Chang, Chang, sorry, Luo Dai Chang. You see the C? It's supposed to be Cha Cha Cha, Luo Dai Chang. All right, let's move on to number three. I don't know why there's so many with animals、uh, now that I see this. There's like three with animals. Here we go. Number three is. The, the meaning is love is blind.、Uh, you know, love is blind. As in, even if you're ugly, even if whatever you're short, fat, whatever, you'll find love. Love is blind. So in Cantonese, they say, "Sang zi miu ya ga gang gang n g a a n ga." How do you how do you pronounce n g ga ga? Okay, <laughs> let me try again. Sang zi miu ya gang sang zi yu. 三字牛一眼 ，I would never remember this. Basically, the literal translation for this is, even a cat with skin problems will find love, or is loved, or can be loved, so to speak. In other words, love is blind. So, 三字牛一眼 If you want to offend an ugly friend, you can tell them that in Cantonese. 三字牛一眼 All right. Following with the animals, number four. This is、um, a lazy bum, right? A lazy person, a person who doesn't like to work, doesn't like to do anything.、Um, in Cantonese, they say "say Wong," "say Wong," "say Wong." I think "say Wong" basically means snake king, snake king,、um, the king of snakes, or why would they call it the king of the snakes? I don't know. I think that snakes.、Uh, Being reptiles, right? They don't like the heat, so maybe they hide under a rock during the day and only come out at night. You know what I mean? So, kind of like I don't know the etymology of this word, but maybe that's where it comes from. You know, like Zai Wang, the king of snakes. You don't come out at the, during the day. You don't work during the day. You only party at night. All right.、Um, moving on to number five. Number five.、Um, well, the meaning is、um, when somebody is. In a lot of trouble when somebody is in deep, deep, you know what? So they say, "Yat sang gai, yat sang gai." I don't know this number five. I have no idea what it means. I know that there are four tones in in Putonghua, but my understanding is that there are six or eight. I think it's six or eight tones in Cantonese. So this five, I have no idea what the tone would mean. So I'm just butchering. I know that. <laughs> so don't need to jump on me in the comment section down below. Yat sangai, yat sangai, and the literal translation is having your body covered in ants. In ants, having your body covered in ants. That's yat sangai. So, all together now, go 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 ga ya go go. Gai Ji Guo Guo. That means every country has its own anthem. Luo Dai Chang, leftover woman. Zhang Zi Miu Yap Gang. Even a cat with skin problems gets love. Si Wang. I think this is the only one that I can get right. That's the Snake King, the lazy bum, and、uh, Yat Sang Gai, body covered in ants, or you're in a lot of trouble. All right, guys. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. But before you go anywhere, make sure to go follow my friend right here, Straya Guy in China. 
he is going to talk to you about, well, his own dialects and his own sentences from the region where he is. All right, guys, until I see you again, take it easy and bye for now.